Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. They're a group of researchers, scientists, and farmers around the world that are dedicated to improving corn and wheat cereal crops. Now, they're talking about a specific story out of Pakistan where they grow white corn. They gave them nine different varieties, some hybrid, some open pollinated natural seeds. And they found two open pollinated varieties that are especially resilient in the soil to the point where they only needed to irrigate the field twice rather than the eight to ten times that are average in that area. Well, I tell you, 75% less water used to produce a crop, that's a beautiful thing, yet it still created a whole lot of yield, about twice the average yield of the area, and it did it faster in 100 days. And these are open pollinated varieties, so they don't mention anything about GMO, but most I've never heard of an open pollinated variety that wasn't uh, natural, non-GMO. And here's a little infographic for the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. What they do, they work all over the world. They say 50% of the maize and wheat in developing countries are based on their varieties. And they have researchers all over the world. They seem like a pretty decent organization at first glance. If anyone knows any more about them, please let me know in the comments below. But specifically, water-saving crops, cereal crops that produce a lot of calories per acre, this can be great. We use a lot of water and energy to produce our food. And if we can lower the amount of water and energy, or rather make our food systems more efficient, then heck, that could be great for the whole world. Make our electricity cheaper, make our water more abundant. This could be a great thing. Of course, it's only the beginning. If you want to read more about it, the link's in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.